Hi folks, the Filipino P here. And today, instead of doing my regular video, I want to tell you about something that just happened. Remember a few months ago when I finally finished building that beautiful home for my family? Well, guess what? I got a call from my little brother and apparently, there was a fire. So now I'll be talking to my little brother, Chan, who witnessed the fire. So Chan, what the heck did you do to the newly built house? Hey, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Wasn't you? All right. So tell me what happened. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh, the whole scenario of this one. So it's early in the morning. Uh, it's uh, it's about 6 a.m. in the morning. I was actually sleeping that time. So I woke up because, you know, my my room was filled by a thick smoke. So I was awakened. Uh, I was awakened because uh, I smelled something uh, something off. So it was like um, it was like a burnt synthetic um, rubber that has a a strong smell. So I am ready to you know I I am ready to complain because I think. Uh, it was our neighbor who's burning the rubber. So I went downstairs to check uh, what what's really happening. So and then I saw a massive fire, a thick smoke, and I'm kind of worried because um, uh, the cats, you know, our cats are sleeping there. So I uh, I was uh, worried, and at the same time, uh, at the same time, I felt scared because of the of the of the thick smoke and the fire. Uh, that is against me. The house was on fire. So I know right where, that time, yeah. So where was everybody? I don't know where are the other people uh, in the house. So I, I, I remember it was me. It was me and dad. It was papa and the cats who are inside of the house. Okay, so where was mom? I believe uh, it, mom was outside. Uh, she's buying something for breakfast. So yeah. Um, it was just me and dad who left, uh, was left uh, at the house. Did you go out? Did you ask for help? What happened? Of course, of course. I went outside to ask for help. I, uh, at first, I don't know what to do because, you know, we are, uh, we are in a massive fire. The house is on fire that time. So I ran outside to ask for help. Um, I don't have the number of the, of the, the uh, the fire department so i asked for help i i asked i even i even ran to ask help to our barangay captain uh to call the fire department and also i i i shouted to my uh my highest point uh to ask help also to our neighbors since um uh, uh there are um workers uh there so i i asked help for uh, to, to you know to pull out the the fire and you asked them to call the fire department, and then what happened? What happened mm -hmm. next? Uh, our neighbors uh, came to our house just to help put out the fire. So they are about, I think, thirty people who helped uh, in in putting out the fire. So uh, thank God we have that uh, we have that uh, well. So they started to you know to bring to bring. Uh, pail for them to fetch water and then they started lining up uh, for them to you know to splash uh, some water at the at the at the back of our house the burning uh, kitchen so they form a bucket brigade and then they were dumping water so where was the fire department so um at the time me and the, uh, me and the neighbors are battling the the blaze for about an hour before the uh, the fire department showed up one hour it took them an hour to show up yes about oh, an no. hour mm -hmm. oh no i'll be panicking knowing that it might of consume course. the whole bloody house all right so when they arrived what did they do well um they sprayed the entire outside kitchen uh, just to make sure that the fire was out that time okay so basically they just sprayed the rest of the fire to make sure nothing is burning just securing that the area correct. well you sent me a video uh while the house was on fire it was blazing hot it was like dark smoke coming out so who was taking the video 
I believe it was, uh, I mean, it's our neighbor who took the video. All right, so finally, the fire was out and you guys discovered no cats were harmed, right? Yes, I looked for them. So glad, thank God, they came back after a few hours. They just came back here. Uh, I believe that was nighttime. They were safe, okay. Yes, so, they were safe, yeah. So Chen, the million dollar question is, what was the damage? Right, so as you can see, I sent some pictures. So you can see that the 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 chiller or the freezer was you know damaged it's, in, it's entire damage so and our outside cr was you know collapse and and the the door and the cr was you know melted by the fire and uh, uh it's it's sad because our cabinets who are uh, i mean our uh, there's a cabinet there where um mom has has her own um you know memorabilia or the memories for um she has an antique um plates forks and utensils that we can use on a daily basis so it was actually devastated by the fire and as you can see as well that the glass uh, block was um destroyed by the fire and as well as the the wall was chopped into piece, uh, into pieces. So yeah, I think I mean uh, think and also you know the the source our the water tank which is our source of rainwater was also melted by the fire. The back door was uh, burned through and the concrete walls uh, was cracked uh, because of the heat. And then uh, as we observe, the roofing uh, was scorched and blackened. And, uh, and even my my own bedroom was damaged by the fire. And you are in the second floor, right? Is that the damage yeah. behind you? Yes, you may observe um, there is you know a black a black and wall. <laughs> There's a because of the a thick smoke. Yeah. So are you sleeping in your bedroom? No, as of now, I'm not yet. I'm not sleeping here. I'm sleeping with Mark's room. Okay, got it. Wow, that's a lot to take. Mm -hmm. Our chest freezer, mom stuff, our photo albums, you know, paperwork, important things, everything in mm -hmm. the kitchen, outside kitchen, they're gone. They were done. Even the, yes. Even the water tank. Yeah, it was melted by the fire, so which is our source of rainwater, so yeah. What about the laundry? That's where we do our laundry. Yeah, sadly, it was all gone. It was all gone. Do you guys have clothes left? Um, there are a few of our clothes that was left uh, that we're using uh, in a daily uh, in a, in a day to day basis. So yeah, there are a few. Yeah, because I know that you guys do the laundry there and you dry them there, and I know that there were three boxes of clothes that mom was keeping outside uh, the house because there's no enough space in the in-house. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's a disaster. All right, Chen, so let me just get this straight. So the fire started outside the house in our outside kitchen, and the walls are cracked because of the heat, and the roof is black, and I can see your bedroom as well. is It's got some damage, so please... Tell me, what about the inside of the house? Uh, mostly everything is fine, but it needs massive repainting. But uh, and, uh, overall, our house is good. The interior was good. At least no one's hurt, right? No one's hurt. Everybody's safe. So, Chen, how did the fire start? Uh, well, that time, uh, I believe Papa was boiling water. Uh, he stepped away for a moment. Uh, Papa didn't realize that there's a, uh, there's a plastic bottle uh, near the heat source that was caught uh, on fire. And, uh, and there, the inferno started. So the holes of the stove uh, began to smoke and then caught on fire, quickly spreading uh, to the nearby cabinet. So... That's the source of the fire. 
at least I know who to hand the, the bill to fix the house. Dad. I know it was an accident. It was an accident. Um, it, nobody wants to burn the house. Well, I know how sad mom must have been since the fire. And I know that there were a lot of things in that little box that were sentimental for her, especially the, um, the photo albums. But the great news is you guys are okay. Nobody got hurt. And I think we'll be fine and I'm coming home as soon as I can to assess the damage and as soon as I'm there, we'll start repairs and we'll get through this. We'll be all right. So I'll see you guys soon and thank you so much, Chen, for reporting. Well. See ya. All right, folks. So before we end, let me just make this clear that I didn't make this video to seek financial help for my family because of what happened because of the fire. Um, in fact, please do not send me anything. I can take care of the repairs. I can take care of my family. Um, it might take a while, but I'm on it. So thank you guys. I know you guys are going to be uh, thinking about me. So please do not send me anything. The reason why I made this video, um, it's because a lot of you were interested in what's going on with my family and the house that I built for them. So I thought this is a big happening. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Anyway, I'll be back on Friday with the regular Filipina P content. So till then, folks. So you remember a few weeks ago when I did my video on artificial intelligence and how it could be used to fool guys who talk to women online? Some of you thought it was a strange claim and it wouldn't be a problem for a few decades. Well, guess what? It's happening now. As a social experiment, two guys used a publicly available free software program to create a woman named Claudia that never existed. Her profile offered nude photos for a fee and several men actually sent the money to buy them before the guys behind this experiment came clean about it and shot Claudia down. Now, these two guys were honest about what they were up to, but how many scammers are out there creating their own fake women? Like I said in the video, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So be careful, guys. It's a jungle out there. If you think about it, I'm kind of like the girl next door. No costumes, no superpowers, just someone who keeps their eyes and ears open and knows how to get you the information you need when trying to learn about life in the Philippines. I'm familiar with Western culture, and I know my own, so I can be a valuable resource when it comes to all things Filipino. If you enjoy my channel and want to help it grow, please hit the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and consider checking out my Patreon page, where you'll find exclusive videos and features. And you can rest assured that I'll be bringing you fresh, high-quality content twice a week. See you around the neighborhood. Oh, I almost forgot. Can I borrow a cup of sugar?